Good morning, Wildcats. It is 8 a.m. right now when I'm filming this. I don't know, I'm just, I'm trying to get used to waking up kind of on schedule the when I did when I was going to school. I don't know how we all woke up at 6 a.m. every day. It's very difficult. Wildcats. Thankfully, our school musical, The Addams Family, which I know you guys have all watched, took place before all this stay-at-home stuff happened, which means we are still eligible for a Blue Star Award. Hey Wildcats, Blue Springs High School's production of The Addams Family was a huge success. The orchestra started out the evening extremely well with a good overture that set the mood fabulously. Overall, the set was really fantastic. The back backdrops were beautiful and well built. The opening gravestones were well spaced and very well sized for the venue. Overall, the lighting was very impactful. I loved the use of the red lights periodically throughout the show as it really changed the feel of the stage. The costumes were wonderful and added to the overall excellence of the production. Hair and makeup design was well done overall for the leading roles and ancestors. For the most part, the makeup for the ancestors was successful and the coloring and contour with the white and gray tones. Each year we participate in the Blue Star Awards, but because of COVID-19, we aren't able to be together for the nominations. The nominations will be streamed on Starlight's Facebook page on May 21st. The award ceremony will be held at Starlight Theater on July 31st. Wish us luck and watch out for those nominations. And speaking of awards, Wildcat TV has also earned a few awards from Missouri's Journalism Day for the stories and episodes we have made this year. Hey Wildcats, you know that feeling when you've done something so cool that you, you just want to tell someone about it? That's pretty much what's going on here at Wildcat TV. This is the first year that J-Day has awarded us with Allstate Equivalent Awards. What's J-Day, I hear you asking? J-Day is held by the MIPA, an organization working in association with the Missouri School of Journalism. Every year, they host J-Day, an event dedicated to recognizing outstanding work done by school journalists and news stations not unlike Wildcat TV. And now, without further ado, it is my honor to re-announce the awards given to us at J-Day. The Allstate Equivalent Overall Magazine Award goes to Wildcat TV's Veteran Day Special. Welcome back to Wildcat TV on Comcast 15. I'm Ash. And I'm Kaylin. We've teamed up with our ROTC to make an episode to honor our veterans and celebrate Veterans Day. Hey Wildcats, it's Zoe. Today I'm at the Pink Hill Park Veterans Day Memorial Statue. I'm here with Cadet Major Blake Coiner. Not only are we recognizing the veterans, we are also recognizing their families. We understand having a family member in the military is very challenging. My father is currently serving in the U.S. Army. Uh, he's been going on for about 20 plus years. My name is Leon Sterling South. I served in the Navy four years. Hi, this is Millie Halterman. I joined the Navy in 1953 when I was 18. Six months there. Okay. And I toured quite a bit of Germany. If you could say something to a veteran, what would you say? I would say thank you for serving our country and yeah. Thank you for protecting everybody I know. I would say thank you for all of your service. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! The Allstate Human Interest Feature Award goes to Sky Sherwood and Mariah Lawrence for the World War I Museum and Memorial segment. In 1926, 100,000 citizens stood right here to celebrate the opening of the Liberty Memorial. The key takeaway that we want people to have when you visit the National World War I Museum and Memorial is to understand how important World War I is. And if you live in Kansas City and you haven't been here yet, you're definitely missing out because this is a great place to get a lot of information. Thank you again to Mike Vietti for giving us a little bit of a tour and letting us interview you. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Mariah Lawrence. And I'm Sky Sherwood. 
The Allstate Commercial slash PSA Award goes to Sky Sherwood, Kaylin Dillon, and Skylar Boyle for their Chick-fil-A commercial. And don't forget, it's a great day to be a Wildcat. The Excellent News Feature Award goes to Tim Schweitzer and Sidney Wade for their construction update segment. Construction will go on all year, but will be completed next summer for use fall 2020. Sydney Wade is at the other construction site. I'm going to send it over to her. Thanks, Tim. I'm Sydney Wade over here at the construction site for the new library and media center. The Superior Human Interest Feature Award goes to Mariah Lawrence and Skylar Sherwood for their Agriculture on the Move segment. For the past three years, Blue Springs High School FFA students have come over to different elementary schools within our district to teach kids about agriculture. The biggest thing that I think these fourth graders get out of it is just pure exposure to the agriculture world. Um, a lot of people don't really think about Blue Springs and agriculture. Part about Ag on the Move is that I get to learn lots of new things that I didn't know. Um, I like learning about like all the different kinds of corn. So thankful for our local agriculture industries for helping and sponsoring these programs to help students learn more than ever about agriculture. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Mariah Lawrence. The Superior Human Interest Feature Award goes to Kinsey Peterman for her Tiny Homes for Veterans segment. We're in sponsor of Tiny Homes KC, and I'm here to tell you about what they do for veterans in the Kansas City area. Tiny Homes was created by Veterans Community Project, or VCP. The Superior News Feature Award goes to Elise Ingram and Ben Campbell for their Blood Drive 2019 segment. It was scary, I'm not gonna lie. It was a good experience though. Well, thank you to all the Wildcats who donated. Sign it out for Wildcat TV, it's Elise. And last but not least, we have the Superior Sports Feature Award that goes to Sydney Clark for her timeout segment, Wildcats versus Hawklets. Hey Wildcats, welcome back to the first edition of Time Out. I'm Sydney Clark. Time Out. The Blue Springs football team played Rockhurst two weeks ago. This longtime rivalry began in 1981. Hey Wildcats, I'm here with Coach Donahoe, and he's going to take me through a play-by-play. -play. Mm -hmm. So naturally you're going to feel like, and we felt in talking to Coach Marble, he, Coach Marble felt like, you know, it's going to be play action. He, and he was going to bring pressure, which was a great idea because, you know, you want to play that and you'll see what happens. As he rolls out, Boyd's coming, hits him right as he's throwing. Great call by Coach Marble, great win. Uh, against a big rival. Those boys deserve to be excited. That was a that was a fun moment for us. Congratulations, Wildcat TV. I've never been more proud to work with a group of people as I have been with you guys. I'm Ben Campbell, signing out for Wildcat TV. Due to the current situation, Technology Student Association decided to hold the state conference virtually this year. Last week, we had the first week of competition, and we have students that have placed the top three for their events. Participation is completely optional, but these students have chosen to participate and show off their hard work. The competition will go through the end of May, and they do live award ceremony each Tuesday at 4 p.m. Last week's winners would have qualified for nationals, if they were holding the TSA National Conference. Essays on Technology. Second place, Savannah Stewart. Third place, Alex Malawat. Cybersecurity. Third place, C. Mickey, Thomas Bruce, and Andrew Smith. Congratulations, guys. Now, a word from our sponsor. Instagram and we've got the link to order online. Come pick up in store. Thanks, guys. There's a train and a bird. This is why I don't film outside. This is why I don't go outside. Anyways, I'm gonna go back inside and probably take another nap. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Sky Sherwood, and remember, it's a great day to be a Wildcat. <laughs> there are so many things going on. I just wanted to film.